Module 8, Segment 3 Linking Repairs to Sales Orders The objectives of this training segment are to create a repair order for a sales order item and to link an existing repair order item with an open sales order. Please note that this training segment assumes you have already reviewed Modules 1 through 7 and Module 8, Segments 1 and 2. We will begin by adding a sales order as you learned in Module 5, Segment 2. Next, we will add a line for an item currently in stock that will need to be repaired prior to its sale. Select the Add Action button. Type the inventory item number in the Part Number field and the number of units in the Quantity Ordered field. It is important at this point to select the Sale Type Overhaul. This will generate our repair order. The Stock Lines for Item window opens. Reserve the stock to be repaired and sold as you have reserved stock previously. Close the window when finished. You will be returned to the Adding Sales Order item window. Complete this window and select OK. You will be returned to the Sales Order window where you will see your line item with a type of O for overhaul. Now we will create the repair order. Select the Miscellaneous Action button. The Miscellaneous Item Options window opens. Select Create Repair Order. The Browsing Repair Order window opens. Select Add. The Browsing Company Entries window opens. Use the Find or Add Action button to select the repair facility. The Add Repair Order window opens. Complete the Repair Order header and select OK. The Adding Repair Order item window opens. Notice that the part number and quantity have defaulted from the sales order. Complete the Adding Repair Order item window and select OK. The Repair Order window opens. Notice that the stock line selected in your sales order has automatically been reserved to your repair order, and the sales order number is displayed on the repair order line item. You are now ready to finish the repair order by adding notes and clauses and printing it. When this repair item is received, the stock will automatically be allocated back to the sales order and be ready for invoicing. Navigate back to your sales order. Notice that your repair order number is displayed on your sales order line item. We are now going to link a sales order to an already open repair order. If you do not have an open repair order, take a moment to create one now. When finished, return to your sales order and add a second line item for the part on your repair order. Set the sale type to again be Overhaul. When you have finished adding your line item, you will be returned to the sales order window where you will see your second line item. To link this item to your open repair, click on the line item and select the Miscellaneous Action button. The Miscellaneous Item Options window opens. Select Repair Order Link. The Browsing Open Repair Order Items window opens, displaying all open repair orders for this part. Double-click on the repair order to link it to your sales order. 
you will be returned to the sales order window. Notice that your second line item now also displays a linked repair order. As with the first line item, the stock line will automatically be allocated to the sales order and be ready for invoicing when the repair item is received. To recap what we learned in this lesson, we created a repair order for a sales order line item and we linked a sales order item to a pre-existing repair order.